Belarus saw protests of historic proportions sweep across the country after longtime leader Alexander Lukashenko said he'd won the presidential vote in August 2020, which was widely viewed as rigged. Authorities responded with a brutal crackdown on demonstrators. Speaking to Euronews, opposition leader Pavel Latushko called for new mass protests on Victory Day this Sunday. This is to show that we don't give up, that we don't agree with the falsification of the elections that took place in August last year, with the violence that the regime is exercising against Belarusians today. It's also very important to send a signal to the world community that Belarusians do not agree with the regime that exists in our country. On the other hand, this is a legal state event. This is the only opportunity to legally take part in mass events in the territory of Belarus. Latushko says that the current persecution of the opposition in Belarus is the worst terror Europe has seen for 40 years. And he's called on the EU to apply tougher sanctions than those they've already imposed on Minsk, such as disconnection from the SWIFT payment system and other economic measures, similar to those the bloc's adopted in a resolution on Russia. We're talking about repressions against hundreds of thousands of Belarusians, millions of Belarusians at this time, when there are dead, dying and tortured people. And at this moment, you're saying the sanctions against 88 people and seven enterprises that have no significance for the country's economies are sanctions? Well, Lukashenko, unfortunately, only laughs at this and uses it, of course, for propaganda purposes. Real sanctions have not yet come. There are no effective sanctions yet. Lukashenko so far has ignored repeated opposition calls for negotiations to rerun the election under free and fair conditions, to end police brutality and release political prisoners. Katie Dartford for Euronews.